Um, last, last week was a hard week, and, and uh, I was proud of our players um, for bouncing back. I knew that uh, we were going to have some adversity tonight, and it was really important that, that we responded, and we did. Um, it wasn't a, a perfect game by any means. We made a lot of error, but to be able to make some errors and respond and, uh, and beat a good football team is important. It's important for us. We're a growing team. Uh, we can play so much better in so many areas. I was proud of our defense. I thought our defense just played really good, sound defense tonight. Um, not a lot of error, not a lot of mental error. Uh, I, don't, I didn't see too many big plays or breakdowns um, from our defense. I thought our secondary was very sound which was a great, great to see. I was disappointed in the punt block early in the game. I just felt like they were really struggling to move the ball and really have a hard time scoring if we, if we don't make that play. Um, you know, we got to clean up the turnovers. Uh, obviously, uh, Carson made uh, a bad throw. Um, he's trying to throw the ball out of bounds, and he can't make that throw. And, you know, he scrambles to his left, and and just doesn't put the ball where it needs to be. So, you know, he's still a young player. Um, he does a lot of good things, uh, still does some things that we need to get him squared away on. Uh, but that's all part of playing a freshman, a uh, redshirt freshman. Um, and he'll continue to improve. I'm, I'm confident of that. You know, we, we split the season into quarters. Uh, we just finished our third game. Uh, it's been a tough stretch. We played two really physical games. You know, we missed Romeo Dubs tonight. Toa didn't really practice most of the week. He played pretty good tonight. Uh, but to get through this stretch, to be two and one is really important. Um, we got a winning record in the first quarter of the season. We're starting the second quarter. We got to go on the road and we got to show a lot of mental toughness and improvement. So excited about that and uh, looking forward to getting started this second quarter of the season. Questions? Coach, at halftime, you're, you're out gaining these guys by 200 yards. What was the message to the team? We're OK. You know, we, we, we're actually kind of winning this game. Yeah, I just, I just wanted us to settle down and, and, and really clean up the air. Uh, you know, we're still, we're still making too many penalties. We're, we're jumping off sides. We had a couple holding penalties. We got to do a better job there. And, and uh, we'll just continue to, to, to tighten our ship up. and. Uh, you can't have team discipline until you have personal discipline. So we'll keep pressing our guys to do the right things in every way. Um, but we can't, we can't start off first and 15. It's just too hard. And, uh, you know, these guys are a, a well-coached, uh, aggressive defensive team. Uh, they put some pressure. We gave up too many sacks today. Uh, Carson's got to get rid of the ball and hit open guys quicker. And uh, that's just part of him getting in a good rhythm. So um, it's a collective thing. It's not anybody's fault individually. Uh, we just have to play with more rhythm and tempo and urgency uh, offensively. Remember, Eugene, you, you talked about how just all three phases had to be cleaned up and, and all that. Seven days later, what, what do you think got better? I think, I think we played better defense. I really do. Uh, um, you know, we, we controlled the run game. Um, you know, I, we really, really played good pass defense tonight. I don't know how many yards they got. It wasn't many, though, uh, in the passing game. And uh, I guess they got 63 yards passing, which is not very good. So that was good for our defense. Uh, better pass defense, uh, just guys playing their responsibility, getting used to being out there, seeing their keys. I think that was an improvement. Uh, I think we played pretty good on special teams with the exception of the block kick, and it's hard to say that, but, but uh, that was pretty good. I liked what we did at the end of the half. That was a good drive to score in a two-minute drill, and I was, I was proud of the way we handled the end of the game. You know, air raid teams don't get to run the ball with three tight ends in the game very often. So, you know, that, I know it, uh, Matt Mummy's probably not going to feel very, very comfortable about that, but... I, I, I think that was important for us to run the ball at the end of the game and run the clock out. That's something that we work on and to have to do it versus a good team. 
uh, we did a good job of that. So there's some things we can build on that we're going to need for the rest of the season. And, um, and we have to build on those. And we got to keep pressing and continue to improve. Jackson's getting a lot of, a lot of uh, attention. Uh, what do you see from him and just kind of, kind of a nice game for him today? Jackson's run the ball hard. And, and uh, you know, we got, we got three good backs. Um, you know, I'm excited. I think we're going to get Devontae back, too, for conference, which would be great. Uh, but Jackson, Kelton, and Toa, uh, they're all going to get their opportunities. And, you know, Toa was not 100% tonight. So Jackson's runs were really important. Uh, to be able to be physical and run downhill at the end of the game, that's, that's important to win games. And I was excited to see us. We hadn't been in that set before uh, very often. And so we came up with some good runs at the end of the game to run the clock out. So I was proud to see that. How do you feel like you guys have grown up in this first quarter? And just obviously, it was important for you to challenge uh, this team and this young team. You're not playing D2 squads or anything like that. No, I mean we played three good football teams. Uh, um, these are these are three teams that are going to go on and beat a lot of people uh, throughout the course of the season. So to be to come out of that two and one is a credit to our kids. Um, you know we have a chance to to go win this next week and be three and one coming out of non-conference, which is exactly where we'd like to be. Um, and so that's our challenge. Uh, I'm proud of our kids. I think we got the foundation to have a good football team, um, but we have to realize that every week's gonna be a fight. Uh, we, have to, we have to bring it that day. We have to be prepared to compete and we gotta show the mental toughness to respond to, to the challenge of the day. And uh, that'll be different every week. Uh, but if we can be mature enough as competitors to do that, I think we can we can find a lot of success in the rest of our season. Coach, they only ran 49 plays, and you guys had the ball for more than 37 minutes. Do you feel like if, if that can happen, I mean, there's a football game you can win? Yeah, there's no question. If if we can control the football and, and limit the opportunities for the other team, uh, that's a great formula for our success. Um, and we've got to continue to do that. Um, you know, if we were clean on special teams, we, the margin of victory would have been better it, without the block punt and, so, and the turnovers. I think if we could have played a little bit air free in the turnover game and, and, uh, and not had the block punt, uh, that formula would have been great for us to win. And so, um, you know, I think the more that we can keep our defense off the field, um, the better that the more success we will have as a team. And so we got to keep working that and running the ball and, and, and converting on third down and and uh, and keeping the ball away from the other team. That's really an important factor for us to win. Was this a longer week than normal, perhaps, for you and the staff, just trying to get you know a, a bad taste out of your mouth? It's never fun to get beat like that, you know, and. You know, the people that compete in sports know that that's, that's, that's what you sign up for. I mean, sometimes you get that. And, and uh, it has been a long week. Uh, nobody, nobody likes losing. Um, but for us to respond was important. It didn't really matter who we played. Uh, the fact is we needed to do the things we needed to do to win, and we did that. And so you take credit and, um, you know, uh, Coach Alvarez always used to say, take it and run, and, and, and that's what we need to do. Take the victory and run. Don't look back. And uh, because you can, play, you can play poorly and lose, too. And, and uh, it's a credit to our team that we did enough things to win today and that we can learn from it and improve on it. Thanks. How big is it just to get back into the win call? Uh, <laughs> sorry. You're good. There you go. I mean, it, it's it's big. Uh, nobody likes to uh, lose at home, so uh, spirits are up. Even though it was an ugly win, we'll take it how, however it comes. When you say an ugly win, what do you mean by that? And just what is that the vibe in the locker room? You got it done. You went to battle. Uh, got it done. At the end, we got it done. Uh, we just feel like uh, we could have done a lot better uh, defensively. Uh, we could have. Uh, eliminated that touchdown. Uh, we're kind of be put in the bad spot, but regardless, if they don't score, they, uh, the other team can't win. And uh, that's where we got to 
be as a defense collectively, no matter where we're on the field, we're, we know we're going to get a stop. Did you guys wear them down at all? I mean, on, on both sides of the ball, but what, what did you see on the defensive side? It looked like they didn't want much of you in the fourth quarter. Um, just a, a lot more guys were more comfortable. Uh, um, just the game just started to come easier. Uh, some, there's some guys being put in certain spots. Uh, some people got fresh playing time for the first time in their career. It was just once that click happens for them, it's just it's just a beautiful thing. The game starts to slow down for them, and it's just you back in high school playing ball really. Coach talked about how you guys like to split it up in kind of like three game sections. So what do you what do you make of the first three? You guys challenged yourself, and you feel like you grew up a lot throughout this first three. Yeah. Uh, we're always trying to have a winning quarter. Right now we're two and one. Uh, I think we have two more games uh, before bye week, so we're going to try to run the table there uh, and just have that mindset with each bye, just try to run the table as best as we can. And then if we do that, uh, we're going to set ourselves for Mount West Conference Championship and a great bowl game, hopefully in New Year's Six. What were the what changed most between seven days ago when you know just a horrible loss and today? What, what factors changed the most in those seven days for you guys? Uh, I think some guys got their bell rung against a very good team and kind of it was a wake up call because uh, uh, we kind of beat Purdue, which which is a big deal. But people started feeling themselves. Uh, pride comes before the fall, and it just uh, it was an ugly thing that had happened to us uh, in that fashion. Uh, but it was much needed, uh, so it humbled us to come in and just win. How long was this week, especially one of the guys who's been here a long time and is a leader on this team? How long was this week for this team to get to this point? What does it mean to respond the way you guys did? Oh shoot! As it being my last year, the, it, the weeks are starting to go, go by quick. Uh, after this game, I only have nine left, so it's in the single digits. So I'm just trying to soak it up as much as I can. Uh, just tell the young guys like. Time flies by so quick. Uh, I didn't realize that I would only have nine left. So. Anything else for Gabriel? Yes, Gabriel. Jackson, how big was it to come back after last week and pick up the win tonight? You know, it felt good. Uh, we always talk about relentless effort, and you know, we gave it all tonight. Was it a longer week than usual to get to game day? I guess Gabriel did say, as a senior, every week is fast. But was it like, man, we just want to play again? Yeah. It's like Saturday so far away. Yeah, you know, we had a we had that taste in our mouth, you know, all week, and we were just ready to get it out. Coach was very complimentary of the way you're running the ball lately. What did it mean to, to get to hit Pater today and to just have a significant, uh, you know, impact on this game? You know, I just tried doing my job, and I still feel like I left yards on the field. So, just got to get back in the film room and get better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, halftime, you know, running backs came in. We, you know, fired up the O line and we told them we have to get the run game going if you want to win the game. And, you know, the U, the U uh, responded well in the, the second half. You just mentioned halftime. I'm wondering, you know, you guys had outgained them by 200 yards heading into the half. And the score was super close, though. It was the feeling in the locker room, we're the better team? Yeah, for sure. You know, we, um, went down there and we were in the red zone what four times first half I think and we just didn't we didn't execute we didn't finish it so we just knew uh, we just had to start finishing plays or well, finishing drive sorry. I feel like you wore them down at, at all it didn't look like they didn't want too much of you guys in the fourth quarter. Um, I don't really feel like we wore them down I just feel like uh, we have more grit and it showed in the fourth quarter. You guys had four field goals today how do you turn the corner and turn those into touchdowns? Just get in the film room, man. That's, that's pretty much it. What do you make of the first quarter of the season as you guys like to split it up? You get out of it two and one, and you challenged yourself. You're not, you know, yeah. playing Division two teams to start the year or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we had first game. It was it was insane. You know, second game. Just try to try to keep grinding, and you know that that game was all, honestly just all about heart, and you know a lot of people. Just really wanted to get that taste out of their mouth uh, this week. And going into the second quarter, we just want to go 3 0, undefeated. You guys also caught a, you know, more than I remember seeing passes out of the, of the backfield. I know you guys like that, but you, know, you had five just by yourself. Is, is that something you think uh, Pac fans are going to see going forward? Oh, for sure. Uh, 
in practice, we always emphasize like, you know, if the receivers aren't there, you get checked down to the back because we feel like we're the best runners on the field and we can make people miss and get yards. And it's just a confidence booster for the quarterbacks and uh, it can get our offense going. So we should see more of that. Carson kind of grew up in front of our eyes, whether it be good or bad. I mean, how much are you kind of trying to take some weight off of his shoulders, especially as older guys? You know, he has a lot of poise. You know, even even at Oregon, he had a lot of poise. And um, I just try and keep him calm back there, you know what I mean? And uh, just let him play his game, because when he gets in the rhythm, man, it's hard to stop him. Anything else? Uh, thank you. How big was it for you guys to come out tonight and pick up that win? Uh, you know, it was great just coming out with the win. Uh, Weaver's a really good program, and shout out to the defense for holding them the whole game. Um, offensively, we definitely could have done some things better and scored some more points, but the defense did great all game. How do you feel like you bounced back from, from the trip to Eugene? You said there were some things you were definitely going to learn from that, that game, and I guess instantly, what do you feel like you took from it? Yeah, uh, the first two games, I've definitely learned a lot, and now three. Coming to this game, you know, I felt a lot better. You know, things were moving a lot slower. Um, I still had a couple turnovers. I was trying to throw one out of bounds. Uh, I got to throw it. I need to start throwing it like 50 yards out of bounds, you know. And uh, another one, I should have just ran with it. I was trying to do too much, but just going to keep learning, keep growing, and just every week just try to get better. You completed passes to, to nine different receivers. Is that something you realize when you're out on the field? Or is it just uh, checking down if he's open? How does that work? Uh, I didn't know that, but I know that we have a ton of great receivers and a great backs and uh, tight ends. So, um, you know, it's just my job to spread the ball around and let them make plays. Yeah, we executed our four-minute drill perfectly. We were running the ball every single time, and um, they knew it was a run, and the union did a great job, and our backs did a great job just being able to pick up those first downs at the end and the whole game. You know, at halftime, you guys were up by about 200 yards. Was, was there a sense, let's not panic, Yeah, we're OK? Well, we were moving the ball, and um, we just got to finish drives. I can't turn the ball over, and we can't have penalties down there in the red zone. Um, so, you know, we were moving the ball, so we still felt confident that we could go down and score on them. Um, so it was just a matter of finishing drives. And Brandon Talon did a great job kicking all those field goals. You think it's just kind of into what like the preparation was like this week? I mean, it had to be hard to get that taste out of your mouth, but you had to, and, and you responded the way you wanted. Yeah, you know, we just didn't want to let Oregon beat us twice, so we had to come out and just prepare the best we could for Weber. And we knew that they're a really good program, so um, we knew that we had to bring everything we got for the win. You, know, you guys divide the season into quarters, I know, and, and, and two and one is a winning record and all that is. Are you guys where you want to be? And then tell us what you're expecting maybe as we head into the second quarter. Yeah, as much as we want to take Oregon back, you know, we're two and one right now. We have a chance going in to close out the non-conference three and one going into conference. And so, you know, our main goal is to win the conference. That's our number one goal is to be Mountain West champions. So we just got to keep getting better each game and get ready for conference. Yeah, I feel like each game is just getting a little bit slower. You know, I'm starting to, you know, feel more and more confident each time I go out there. And I know I have great teammates around me, great defense, great backs, great receivers, great line. So I just got to let them make plays, and I just got to do my job. Thank you, Thank you.